Art for AIDS International. Art for AIDS International uh, began 10 years ago. Uh, it raises money for the support of uh, AIDS in Sub-Saharan Africa, and it's done through uh, art workshops in schools, it's been done locally here in London, but also in seven countries around the world. Out of the workshops are these lovely collages that are produced that we end up printing in small editions of prints and ultimately sell them at events. The dollars that are raised go to five or so sustainable NGOs We've also worked uh, very much with Rotary, so that if we give $20,000, those $20,000 have become much more money. I think what's also important though is the social justice aspect of the work, teaching kids about uh, AIDS, teaching them to think beyond uh, their own backyard, thinking globally, and what they can do locally uh, can impact uh, folks around the world. We deal more than anything with passion and determination when we speak with young people. And at the same time, we have done so fantastically well inside as well as outside of Canada. In 2010, for example, we exhibited at the Apartheid Museum in South Africa. Last year, we exhibited at the UN in Rome twice. We've been at the Congress of the World Teachers Federation in Berlin four years ago and last year in Cape Town. It was founded in London and they're doing quite well internationally and also doing quite a bit of work across Canada, but I think People don't realize just that this homegrown uh, charitable foundation is happening right here in London. As a society, as a global society today, and specifically uh, with young people that are the future. I mean, they really are the ones that need to care and take the message beyond, not only art, uh, not only uh, HIV and AIDS, but I think as a whole we need to care, so. I think the impact that it has on the kids, is, again, is just raising their awareness. Uh, and they see the value of the work that they produce actually turning into dollars and that money making its way back uh, to Africa. Mm -hmm.